Hi everybody! Welcome to a new video tutorial that goes deep into creating 3D color masks. Masks control where the adjustments you make are applied to your images. Assigning multiple color dimensions to define the mask enables you to make precise selections easily. We use the term 3D color masking because, in exposure, you define the mask with three separate color dimensions – luminance, saturation, and hue. We are using Exposure for the demonstration in this video. If you don't already own Exposure, you can download the free trial from our website. The Color Constraints presets are useful for common masking situations. They can be used for selecting various skin tones, or skies, or brightness ranges. After selecting a preset, the mask parameters can be refined by hand for more control. You can also save your own presets to this list. Once a mask is defined, adjustments on that layer are restricted by the mask. The masking and layering system allows for application and control of multiple effects on a single image. Learn more about using this system in our Working with Layers video. When defining an individual mask, there are several built-in range presets that are accessible from the four lines icon on the left of the panel. These presets quickly get you in the ballpark of the selection you're after. They can be refined for this image in particular easily. When editing masks, the Show Mask toggle is useful. When enabled, the mask will display a red overlay as you make adjustments. A helpful keyboard shortcut to display the mask is M. Simply click the eyedropper and select a sample in the image. Use this tool to define the luminance, saturation, or hue range. Repeat the process to reselect using a different sample. To add other colors with the eyedropper, hold the Shift key. With each click, the range is expanded to include more selected values. To refine the selection made with the eyedropper, use the slider handles. The top handles on the sliders indicate the edge of the full value. The bottom handles control the feathering between the inner edge and the masked area. The further the inner and outer handles are apart, the more gradual the edge of the mask will be. The hue wheel behaves the same as the other sliders. The inner values denote the fully saturated tones. The outer values control the gradual blend. Hold Shift while dragging the bottom handles to apply the same feathering amount on both sides. Hold Shift while dragging the top handle to move all of them together. Click the text field to enter a range value manually. You can use the up or down arrow keys to nudge the selected value. For a larger jump, hold Shift and use the arrow key. For a small jump, use Alt or Option and an arrow key. These controls make creating detailed masks simple and quick. Masks control the adjustments you make to specific areas of the image. Once defined, the mask can be saved as a preset and reused on other images. Check out our 3D color masking video for a demonstration of that process. You can create a masking preset that you can reuse in the future, which drastically speeds up your editing and retouching workflow. Thanks for watching. Learn more about exposure, including more video tutorials, on our website.